Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. We are going through a marathon of the world. And I'm telling you, we are going a notch higher. The prophetic. Can you say the prophetic? Do you need a prophetic word in your life? This is the hour and this is the time. I believe a word will come into your life. Can we all of stand on our feet kindly? I, I, I started following way back in 2007, I believe so. And I saw the prophecies concerning Kenya. He's a friend of our Archbishop, Prophet Manton. Can you put your hands together as we receive here in this altar in the name of Jesus? You can do better than that. Can we lift our hands to the Lord? Lift him up high, lift him up very high. I brought a lot of luggage here because God's been talking to me and I have way too much to share in this short session, but we'll have another time and we'll continue. But just lift your hands up right now. The Holy Ghost is going to hit this city with a new wind of fire. And we're going to begin to see what we've not seen before. The Lord says, get ready now because I'm going to cause my grace to come upon many to even make them multi-millionaires and even billionaires for the advancing of the kingdom in this land. The Lord said he's attacking poverty. Do you not know it? Have you not heard it already here? Lift your hands and pray in the Holy Ghost. Surely I do nothing except I first reveal my secret to my servant, the prophet, Amos 3.7. Peter said, prophecy came not by the impulse of the will of man, but it came by holy men of God as they spake by the Holy Ghost. Uh, Ezra 6.14 said, they built and they prospered by the prophesying of the prophet. Second Chronicles 20.20 20 said, believe his prophet, so shall you prosper. The Lord's going to begin to cause his grace to come upon people upon his elect like we've never seen before the lord woke me up five o'clock this morning and i began to write page after page after page jesus i don't have time to do it here but just just stay standing and lift your hands rasha the voice of the lord is powerful psalm psalm 29 said the voice of the lord is so powerful God, I feel like singing a prophetic song. Just begin to sing in the spirit. Begin to pray. Begin to speak in tongues right now. Shala Chandela Tonda Kay Masa, yeah, it's falling already right now. There it is, there it is, there it is. It's happening now. Nan Shalaya Nan Shalaya Nan Shalaya Shoko Nande Matsaya Soko Ranta Achele Sote. There's much more on my website on thomasmanton.com. That's all I'll say about that. You can find us there. Keep praying in the Holy Ghost. Rashan Gorete Oshila Sokoche Zinanamante Kosata. The Lord said He's going to cause His people to take dominion. Can you feel the presence of the Lord just draping this place right now? It's falling. It's just gonna, it's not gonna hit this building, it's gonna hit this whole downtown. It's gonna hit uptown, it's gonna hit the whole city. And before I drop this mic, I'm gonna deliver a major new prophecy to you. Lift your hands, a major new prophecy to you. Major, 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 ma world shaking. The Lord spoke to me. God Adam al Shah, keep praying. Shalom Genesis 1:26, the Lord said, "The 
little softer on the keyboard, a little softer, but keep playing. In Genesis 1 26, the Lord said, I want you to have dominion, my people. I want you to have dominion. Fire is falling. Receive it right now. And I want to speak to you a, a, a statement the Lord gave me at 5 o'clock this morning. He said, my people, I tell you, thus saith the Lord, now I turn it over to you. I turn it all over to you. As Jesus said, all power, all authority in heaven and earth has been given to me. The Lord says, now I turn it over to you. Lift your hands as the disciples received when Jesus breathed on them and said, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Uh, and then they began to be the ones to turn the world upside down. The Lord says, So it shall be for some of you. And you're going to begin to see the favor, the glory, the power, the might, the dominion that you've been asking for. God said, It's coming! And it will not be stopped by any forces of hell. Lift your hands. I prophesy the scepter of his righteousness is coming to the city. The scepter of his righteousness is coming to the nation of Kenya. The scepter of his righteousness with his own blessing and his rod of authority is coming. And, and it's going to bless many people even across East Africa, even across the entire African continent. Because this is the day when light is shining on the darkness. Light is coming on what they call the dark continent. All of Africa, from north to south, to east to west, is going to be shaken by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Shaka that damn. Lift your hands if you're a business person. If you're a business person. And you want to go into business. Lift your hands. Jesus said in Luke 12, 49, I love this scripture, he said, I, I, I want my fire in the earth and how I wish it were already kindled. God gave an instruction to Ezekiel in Ezekiel 10 verse 2 and said, Take coals of fire from the altar and spread them around the city as a, as a light and a sign and a wonder of my fire coming to people. It's only the fire that's going to burn out the witchcraft, the occultism and all that. The Lord says he has two things, one in each hand. In his right hand is the scepter of glory to stretch blessing out to his people. But in the left hand there's a sword in this hour when he's going to stretch out his judgment upon the wicked. God says removal is coming from people. And I want you to pray much for your government that they begin to do things for the good of the nation. Lift your hands. Let's pray. I want to hear somebody praying in the Holy Ghost. Lift your voice. Go ahead. Yes. Fire. I heard the Lord say that new businesses are being birthed in this meeting this afternoon. Lift your hands if you want to go into business. I saw at least 100 new companies being registered here. Lift your hands, but I wish it would be thousands. All across the land. You have people from the outside that are trying to take over. They're trying to come in and infiltrate. They're really enemies of the state. Do you not know it? But the Lord says, now I'm going to raise up the Kenyan people. Come on, somebody, the people of the soil. You're going to begin to see my favor in my hand. And it's not just going to be for others that are going to be standing in the places of power, in the places of influence, but it's going to be you, my chosen ones. Even a little one can become like a thousand and a small one like a strong nation. It, God said it's already time. I've been waiting for you to arise and shine. I've been waiting for you to arise and build like I told Nehemiah. And the God of heaven, Nehemiah 2, 17 to 20 said, well, the God of heaven himself will prosper us and we will arise and build. But the evildoers and the, the, the wicked ones should have no place uh, in all of this. I heard the Lord say this morning, he said, the billion flow is coming to the house of God. Lift your hands. The billionaire flow is coming. And he gave me prophetic words for many leaders, but you know, people are in different events all over the city, so I'll refrain from those for now. 
and we'll deliver them in another session, another time. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Father Tain Duse. The system of corruption, the Lord says, I'm attacking it. The system that's plagued a, a gener for generations, God says, I'm attacking it. And the day is going to come in this land where you're going to begin to see righteousness and integrity that you've not seen. God says, get ready to see it. I'm working behind the scenes. Uh, do you not know it, says the Lord? In this, in this folder, I have uh, probably a couple of hundred prophecies that I've delivered over the nation. And this is going to become another book. I brought a stack of books here that I've written, many prophetic books, many prophecies for the land. So much things, so much information God is saying. But lift your hands. I'm going to drop the, I'm going to drop the prophecy. Are you ready for it? Somebody shout if you're ready for it. Somebody shout if you're ready. Are you ready to hear? Yes. Are you really ready? Yes. Uh, no, you're not. Are you ready? I'm not convinced. This side over here, you're awful quiet. Are you ready? Yes. All right, here it is. The Lord said to me that Nairobi, Kenya is going to become the New York City of Africa. Oh, yeah. Come on, lift your voice and shout. The Lord gave me many words for Archbishop, but I'll deliver to him privately. But I'm telling you, so much money is going to be available in this season. The devil's power, the devil's power is nothing compared to what's coming. I remember when I was at the Faith TV fifth uh, anniversary dedication, and the Lord said, the Lord said to me, I saw towers, towers. I didn't know what I was seeing. I began to weep on the platform. Maybe some of you were there in that meeting at the Mother Church. And it was astounding. And then Archbishop told me, he said, Prophet, you didn't know that we have the, the architectural plans for the building to build twin towers. Let me tell you, they will be built and they will be paid for with cash. Listen to me. So much money is going to be available for the building of the work. And as you're connected in the grapevine, in the vine, in the vineyard, the blessing is going to flow to you. Lift your hands. That anointing for prospering is coming upon you. And the day of despair is ended now. Get ready to see my hand, says the Lord, in ways you've not seen before. Pray in the Holy Ghost right now. Shaya. Lasha, everything is turned over into your hands. Everything is in your hands now. I see the Lord just taking his own hand, his rod of authority, and anointing people with fire from this conference, from these meetings, from these set series of the movement of God in this city of Nairobi, you're going to begin to see the hand of God taking you to a new place. And God says the enemy cannot match it, cannot stop it. Lift your hands. Favor, 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 favor. being released upon you in this day you're going to see the miraculous in the realm of your business life lift your hands i, I have an assignment from the spirit of the lord 5 a.m this morning he woke me up to tell me this business life your business life your financial life the flow of money the flow of breakthrough it's upon you now get ready to see it now you're going to see it now I said you're going to see it now. Can you give the Lord some praise? What? My God, this time thing, the time clock. I need more time. How many know I need more time? How many would like me to come back again and, and speak again? Come on, give the Lord some praise right now. Pastor Mora, bless you. Apostle Good News, bless you. Amen. Prince Silas, bless you. Bishop Marlin, bless you. I'm speaking to the men and the wife and families are included. Archbishop, can we give the Lord a praise for Archbishop Harrison Nanga? Amen. All right, I'm Thomas Manton the Fourth. Can you blow me a kiss? I need some love right now. Can you blow me a kiss? Oh, thank you. Can we give Jesus one right now? He's the rose of Sharon, the lily of the valley, 
the bright and the morning star, the Alpha and the Omega, the Amen, the faithful and true, the bishop and overseer of our souls, the fairest of 10,000, the bright and the morning star, the Rose of Sharon, Amen, the everlasting Father. Hallelujah! Amen. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. Oh. Pastor Morris asked me if the books are available. Yes. By the way, the beloved Archbishop Harrison Nanga published this for me. These are available. Okay, here you can get them. Prophetic Keys to Successful Living. And the forward is written by the Archbishop. Wonderful words he spoke about me and the anointing we carry. So when Lift your hands again. Huh? So when you're leaving, you can get them on the desk behind there. Yeah, they're, 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 my staff has some there. All right, another kiss. Give one to Pastor Mora. He's a very faithful man. Come on, give him one. Give him one. I love you. I love you. Hey, can we give Jesus a better crab for the prophet? He has done a beautiful work. And we thank God for his life. Praise the name of the Lord. Dear brethren, in Psalms 119, 105, the Bible says, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Truly, God has sent prophet Dr. Thomas Manton IV to proclaim and declare his word of abundance and prosperity prophetically unto the nations. Thus, brothers and sisters in Christ, I urge you, just as the Bible says in Matthew 10, 41, whoever welcomes a prophet as a prophet will receive a prophet reward. Let us welcome and embrace the prophet of God by supporting his ministry. You can sow a seed, you can send your love offering, you can support or partner in the ministry program using the details displayed on your screen. For when the prophet of God decrees a blessing upon you, indeed, you shall be blessed.